related to Mercedes-Benz world. An old Saab, a Mercedes or two, and who? Some tasty cars at the front. We'll catch up in a sec. Some nice cars at the front end here. That's a nice one. Approved used. They tend to have some tasty cars in this dealership because it's a flagship dealership. So they're a GLE 63S. Beast. Plenty of. Here we go. Some S's. Is any event here today? Something to do with the kids making future cars, electric, solar powered, solar powered, that kind of thing. Here we go, there's some really nice cars over here. There is an S Coupe convertible. This is a lovely looking thing. This is the SL. Prices are slightly in a different league from the BMW garage. So, looking at 100 grand for a used car, 105 for this one. Quite a thing, actually, when you see it in person. V8 by Turbo. This one must have the performance pack on as well. There you go, SL63. This one, the S63. The S has a very plush interior. There you go, look at this. The Burmeister speakers. Lovely interior. We're gonna have a look at them inside as well. This is what I come what I've come here for. So there's this E53. This the GTC. Lovely car. Beautiful. Really nice options on this. Really nice paint. Don't know if you can make it out, but it's like a grey metallic. And I'll try to Put a bit of masking in the thing. Beautiful interior, this one. Yeah, gorgeous looking car. Maybe I should uh, tempt one of my rich friends to come and uh, turn up. people here at the moment. Here we go. What's cooking for you? Dry? That's not a bad view, is it? Yeah, this is definitely a contender for the next dream car. Gorgeous angles. It's a beautiful thing. Especially in these colours. It's subtle, but it's so effective. Fantastic looking thing. And they sound great too. For all the people that said, oh, the turbocharged um, Mercedes is gonna be horrible. They still sound amazing. These, if you've ever heard one running, really nice cockpit, very long bonnet. Anywho, you skip the SL400, kind of next to this, it's a bit bland really, isn't it? You go from that to that, you think, huh? gorgeous thing. All right, let's go inside. I just noticed something down here. I saw it. I spotted it from, a, from back there when I was walking. Just loads of, look at this. This C63 just looks like a taxi. It's just so plain. Unbelievable. It's just it's such a weapon. It's, it's like wolf in sheep's clothing. There's another one. Look at this. This is an E63. 
S, I don't know, whatever it is, mini exhaust, C63S. Ooh, S63 AMG, another one. GLE 63S, another one. Look at this. This is what I spotted from back there. Look at this, beautiful. An SLS, you don't see any of these around. A lot of them seem to be parked up these days in garages as an investment. Nice looking motor, really nice. Gullwing, you can see where the AMG GT gets its inspiration from. It's not focusing very well, here we go. This one they forgot to put the wing down, they must have been wagging it. Yeah, very cool. These things are so wide. It just looks a bit like a kit car next to the new GT C's and the GTS's. Look at this. Ah. It's like two cars wide. Incredible. Yeah, a mixture of some bits from the McLaren SLR, the bonnet wings, and see the uh, gold wings that open from the side. Yeah. Interesting. I thought it's worth coming down and having a look at. There we go. Back up. Let's go to the inside. These are nice. Before we go inside, SC63S, rear wheel drive. This one's got the nice seats in it too. It's got the bucket seats. Not sure about the. There we go. So, and look at the price. So, it's about five grand more it's about the same sort of price as some of those m4s that we saw and this one looking at the spec it's done eight thousand miles so not really far from those m4s i think i'd have one of these over an m4 anywho oops somebody dropped something okay another sls We're back inside. See the spec 6.3. For those who have never seen this place before, the lady said there was nothing up there. Basically, Shell had taken over the entire building, so the only places we could look at were the ground floor. So the building just closed. It's a Shell event, so we can't go to the building, but here we go. We still have a look. Pagoda. Look at this. Beautiful thing. When I was a kid, these were around. I never used to give them a second look. Look at this thing. Showroom condition. Well, it is in a showroom. And the original Goldwing. This is an interesting one. The 190, I think it's a 190 SL. 300 SL. Beautiful thing, look at that. They're like, they go for like a couple of million pounds these days. See these bands. What a beauty. And this is where it all began. The very first Mercedes Benz. So we go from that, to that, to that, to that SLS near the door, near the entrance. What else have we got here? C63 Black Edition. Ooh, you can drive this for 500 pounds. Probably five minutes of driving experience. There's a room full of cars, the G63, it's all uh, gangster's paradise in there. Here we go, this is a little time warp. <laughs> the old CDs, wow, for 
anybody who grew up in the 80s, we have seen plenty of these around. Look at this. So, what is it, 200 TE? <laughs> Interesting. And this is a nice thing. W196R, the original Formula One car shape from 1954. Beautiful looking furnaces. There's a bit of history here. This is what the car was like. Someone's bashed the sign. No. The world ceremony happening there. Shell. Fuel the future. Anywho, I think it was a bit of a wasted trip here today. We'll try to do it in another day. Anywho, for now, over and out. Just a quick video of the inside of these Mercedes Benz C classes. They're quite plush. This one with the Burmeister stereo. Nice seats. Really sweepy interior. I'm not a fan of this iPad looking thing hanging over there. Black. Mm. Here we go. Another interesting car. A little smart car. Amongst all the plush Mercedes Benz cars. Probably the only one that's going to be unlocked to sit in as well. Get a bit stingy with that here. See to this estate. Hmm. Here. Brown Mercedes E Class. All right, time to head back. Over and out. So, just leaving the Mercedes-Benz world. It's quite interesting. So, I've been to two garages, uh, the BMW and this one, Mercedes. Look around, obviously, with the phone in my hand, taking pictures, looking interested. And the interesting part is, not even one of the salespeople came to say, hey, how are you? Would you need any help? So, um, here we go, Mercedes and BMW, customer service. Yeah, they say sales of new cars is down. Maybe it's because your staff don't pay attention to the customers who might be actually looking to buy. Um, so yeah, that was quite interesting. Yeah, Mercedes cars look nicer than BMWs. The BMWs are definitely cheaper. Would I be changing to any other car soon? Uh, I don't think so. If I was, what would it be? Tempted to change my Mini for a BMW i3. Um, that would be a very tempting one for me. Um, if I was to change my weekend car, probably swap it for a Mercedes Yeah, GT, GTS, GTC. GTCs are way out of my budget. Um, if I had that much money, I probably would go for an R8 V10. Not the Spider. I don't get on with convertible cars. But yeah, quite an interesting day it's been. I didn't get to sit in any of the cars. Everything's locked. Uh, in the BMW garage, it seemed like they had all the cars in charge. And the cables running into every single car. So, And everybody was running around. Uh, I didn't want to become a pest. Um, perhaps when I've got a test drive booked, make the arrangement then. But yeah, so interesting day all in all. In all. I've tried to make uh, a couple of other videos, perhaps a visit to a uh, local Audi dealership and maybe squeeze the Porsche one in next as well. Um, yeah, see how that goes. And there's also a used supercar, very Ferrari focused uh, garage near where I live too. So perhaps we'll give them a try as well and see what they've got. They usually have quite tasty cars in there. Um, yeah, but for now, I hope you've enjoyed seeing all these different cars, wherever in the world you may be. Um, and if you've got any requests, 
any comments if you want me to go and see a VW garage or an um, Škoda or Seat or something more mundane. A, a, I don't know, maybe a Renault garage if you want to have a look at what's available, what's on sale here in the UK. Um, yeah, just uh, put the comments, leave any messages you want, like, share, um, put comments and I will try to squeeze as many requests as possible in there. But for now, thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to my channel. I always forget this bit. Check out my other videos, thumbs up, comment and feel free to share the content. Hope to see you again soon.